Welcome to day five of my VCV rec experiments. I'm Upload and I'm doing a 50 day challenge to get to know VCV rec better. Today I'm trying to use VCV rec as a sound mangler uh, processor. Um, as you can see at the, in the image here on SoundCloud, Boson Spin. Uh, posted this track, A Brief Unexpected Incident in Deep Space, with the Comet collaboration folder. So, of course, here we are. So, um, it is a work in progress. I am not done with this track, but I want to show you what I have so far, and we'll see where we go from here. Um, first of all, Let's look at Reaper. In Reaper, I have put some selections from the original track. I actually I made two cuts. Uh, the first one is like the first twenty something seconds from the beginning, and I've pole stretched that to get some something nice out of it. It's quite melodic. And then I also cut a piece from the middle and basically left it as is. I'm routing these to my VCV bridge. And oh, as you can see, I do not send these tracks to the master sand, just to VCV bridge. Uh, from this channel, audio 1 and 2 to channel 1 and 2 of VCV Bridge, and this one to channels 3 and 4. And VCV Bridge just works like that. So then, when I go to VCV, I get here from the bridge. Four outputs, four channels. So the two stereo channels. And I'm using these to drive four texture synthesizers, the cloud modules. Um, the basic track, the second cut, uh, I send to these two at the bottom. And the one here, the bottom right, sounds like this. Very bassy. One of the problems, as you can hear, there's some deep resonance there. It's too loud. So I'm EQing that already, but I need to do something about that. Anyway, this one is in... Uh, 16 kHz 8 bit stereo mode as a pitch shifter time stretcher. As you can see, I've frozen it. So, of course, once I close VCV Rack, it won't freeze the same sample tomorrow. But we'll see about that when we cross that bridge. Um, anyway. This module is getting some for pro octave through the quantizer from a sample and hold, which is triggered by a Bernoulli gate and gets its input from this attenuator from Caudal, one of my favorite modules, Mechanical Chaos Source. So, this of course is triggered by the clock with a very low. BPM and so this goes into the sample and hold. It quantized some Turkish scale. Not like there's only one Turkish scale, but whatever JW has chosen here. And that's triggering the bass notes. Beautiful cloudy bass, very deep. I love it. 
Except sometimes there is too much bass there and I need to tame that. Anyway, so that's one voice. Another one is this one on the bottom left. And that sounds like this. We're getting nothing there. Why? Oh, because it's not frozen and I haven't started the playback of my samples in Reaper. So here we go. Ah, that's the same base, basic sample that gets into this texture synthesizer, this cloud module. But this one is in spectral madness mode. And this spectral madness is modulated quite a bit, again with input from Kaudo, uh, either directly here to the sides, parameter position goes through this sample and hold which is again triggered by the clock gets its input from a Bernoulli gate which gets its input from Cowdor. What else is happening here? Density comes out of a VCA with input from an attenuverter with input from Cowdor. Yeah, I'm using this to uh, not get a full range and a wildness of the input that comes from this module. Trying to tame it a little bit, that seems to be a theme today. Taming chaos. And uh, the output then goes into these filters. I'm trying out some different filters from Volt. I have all three main filters that he spit out in his free package. And a cutoff here is modulated from Rampage, which gets its input. Surprise, surprise, from Kodo. Okay. So together. That sounds like this. Pretty nice, right? And that after a brief unexpected incident in space. Okay, what about the other sample that's coming in through outputs one and two? Well, that I feed to these two cloud modules. Uh, one is here, and this one is also modulated with a melodic input for per octave, which goes to the pitch, um, which gets its input again from the sample and hold that's triggered, in this case by VCA, which gets its input from our mechanical chaos source. Okay, let's hear it. Well, we can just oh, solo it here. That's quite nice. Also, its output goes through a filter which, oh, yes, and a cutoff is modulated by this side of Rampage, which gets its input in the Vanilla Gate, which gets its input actually from this module. Oh. So sometimes this just comes up and pops up as we're flying through what I'm calling 
the cloud of debris. There goes that base again that I need to tame. Okay, and final voice, this one. Madness. Where is the madness? Oh. Okay, this one is also put in Spectrum Madness mode. And this one I didn't show is in regular granular mode. So, Spectrum Madness also here from this voice. Very nice, but this one isn't filtered yet. Not sure if I will. It sounds quite nice as it is. Um, it gets its voltage productive also from contactor. Actually the same output for these two modules. So as the base now changes, This will also change pitch, but it is quite wild. Anyway, together it sounds something like this. I'm uploading the track to um, SoundCloud, I've recorded it earlier. And as I said, it's a work in progress, so more to come.